Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. Today I have a really, really exciting video. I'm going to be planting up my order from Bainbridge Island Farms. These are dahlia tubers. I ordered three different kinds of dahlias. I actually ended up getting five tubers, which is really exciting. So we get two surprises. Um, keep in mind, I am not an expert gardener. I'm not an expert dahlia grower by any means. I'm just a crazy plant lady and I love to learn. So I hope that uh, you guys will join me in this journey. We can learn together and uh, let's get planting. So this is my dahlia order. I got them from Bainbridge Island Farms. It's a small farm located in Bainbridge Island, Washington. And I ordered three types of dahlias. One of them is Cornell Bronze, one is Cornell, and the other one is Arabian Night. I was super excited and surprised when I opened this up and I actually found five tubers. So I got two mystery tubers here. So we're gonna quickly just go through dahlia anatomy. So this is a typical dahlia tuber. This is the actual tuber. This is the neck. And this tiny little thing on the top is the crown. The crown is the part of the dahlia that has the eyes and the eyes are where the actual plant comes out of. So tubers can be single like this one. This is the Arabian night. It's written on the tuber itself or they can be in multiples such as this. So these, this has two different tubers and two necks but one crown so this will just hi puppy this will just produce one dahlia plant the tuber is what provides all of the food and the nutrition for the plant as it's growing the crown like i said has the eye and that's where the plant will come out of and the neck is really important for attaching the two pieces of the tuber together. So if the neck is snapped, there is no way to send the energy from the tuber to the crown and provide nutrition for the plant. So a tuber that has a snapped or broken neck is not going to be a viable tuber. So these are the five tubers that I got in my order. As you can see, there is a variety of sizes and shapes. We have some double ones, we have some single ones, we have fat ones, we have really skinny ones. The size of the tuber shouldn't matter. The most important thing is that the tuber has those three components that we discussed before. The tuber, the neck, and the crown, which has the eye. So from what I'm reading, keep in mind I'm I'm a Dahlia beginner and I'm learning just like you guys. From what I've read, the width of the tuber doesn't matter as much as the length. Um, the length seems to be more important for storing uh, the nutrition that the Dahlia needs. So keep that in mind when you're buying tubers. I have in the past bought tubers from Longfield Gardens through Costco. And their tubers will come with a giant clump, like four to five different tubers all connected to one crown. But I have not had very good success with, th success with those. And that seems to be the general consensus from talking to other people is that you will get more quality tubers when you buy directly from a small farm such as this one. So I have really high hopes for this because my experience with Longfield Garden tubers has not been the best. Okay, so here we are getting ready to plant our first tuber. I'm using just this pot that I got from Lowe's. I have already, I don't know if you can see it's so dark. I have a layer of uh, good quality potting soil in there. I'm using miracle Grow. I wanna show you guys the consistency of this soil. It's clearly damp, but when I squeeze it, there's no water coming out and it holds its shape. So this is, um, the texture of the soil that you want to plant your dahlias into. Keep in mind, you do not want dahlias to get too wet because they will develop root rot. So start off with a wet potting mix, put in your tuber, and you kind of just want to leave it alone until it sprouts. Once it sprouts, then you can start watering it. 
So this is my Cornell bronze dahlia. Sorry if you can hear that, there are kids screaming outside. This is my Cornell bronze dahlia, like we talked about the tuber and the neck and the crown. And as you can see here, we have at least two viable eyes. So I have high hopes for this tuber. We're gonna plant it sideways here like that. And then we're just gonna cover it with a little bit more soil. Okay, I wanted to move this a little bit so you guys could see better. We have damp potting soil, we have the tuber sideways in there, and we have covered it up. There's no part of the tuber that's visible. It's going to stay like this until it sprouts, until it sprouts. Um, if it starts becoming really dry, then I will come out and water it, but for the most part, I'm going to leave it pretty much like this. We're going to add our label, which is the most important part, and then we're going to pot up the rest of them. Alright guys, so I have all my five tubers potted up, my Cornell Bronze, my Cornell, and my Arabian Night, and then the question mark dahlias are in one. I ended up potting two tubers in one to just save on some real estate. I have this little um, wire shelf here that I've put all my seedlings in. And, you know, the great thing about Florida is that we don't really need grow lights or heating mats for most of the year. So I have my plants pretty much started out here and they're doing great, getting accustomed to the heat and the sunshine. The difficult thing about being a gardener in Florida is that our growing season is completely off the rest of North America. So when you buy Dahlia tubers, you will get them shipped in like April or May which is the time when the rest of North America is starting to grow their uh, plants and seeds. And for us in Florida, that is almost the time that our season is wrapping up, actually. June, July, and August, is, it's really too hot and too humid to really get plants established. So you really want to get them established earlier in the year, in the season, or later in the season. Um, it's it would be ideal if you had your own dahlia tuber stock and you could just start them whenever you wanted but since i had to buy mine because i'm just getting started um, i had to have it shipped to me so uh, thankfully um, thankfully bainbridge island farms was really receptive when i asked them to ship it a little bit earlier since i'm here in florida and we are uh, april and today is april 8th so hopefully these plants will sprout within a week or two and we can get them out into the garden within the next month. Um, we can provide some shade cloth and hopefully get them through. A little backstory, we bought this house a year ago and it was pretty much neglected inside and out. So it has taken a lot of time and attention. Um, I'm also gardening on a very steep slope. So I've had to put in raised terraced garden beds and I did those all on my own and we're finally getting to the point where the hardscape is done and I can get things out into the garden and I'm just I'm really really excited I'm feeling optimistic and I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are and I hope the garden is giving you exactly what you need happy growing